everyone. So we spent the last four days at Automate 2022 in Detroit, Michigan. This is gonna be a vlog style video. This is gonna be the start of our vlog videos uh, that we're gonna do over here at Automate. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take you guys through all the different robotic cells. Uh, we have Landon here who's gonna take you through one of the other types of uh, vendors. My name's Jenna. Jenna? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna do the AMRs. Jenna's gonna do the AMR. So I'm gonna do the robots and I kind of just give you a quick rundown of what's here at the facility. So this is gonna be a quick walkthrough. And I'm going to give you the different names of all the different brands that are out here uh, at the Automate show. And, and all the major players are here right now. So here we have the Fanic booth. This is the biggest ro robot in the world actually right now. It's the Emma 2000 IA. Uh, as you can see, it, it, it has been payload enough to lift a Corvette. Uh, the payload out of that is actually sorry, 1700L, which is 1700 kg, which is roughly like 3,500 3, pounds or something like that. Uh, now inside the booth here, you can see they have different bin picking operations going on. Uh, basically where you have 3D vision, being able to see the orientation of the part, and then place it to a bin for this to be like, uh, like, a, like, a, like a pick and pack type of operation, or not a pick and pack, but like a, uh, a distribution center. Here's basically kind of the exact same process, but instead we're going from bin, we're going from bin to bin. Whereas that one right there would be placing to a bunch of different bins. This is kind of just going back and forth. Not really a real world, world thing because you're not going to just keep going back and forth, back and forth between two different bins. Uh, so you're going to have something where this is a, a CNC machine where, where the robot is picking from a bin and then maybe loading that part into like a CNC. Uh, so bin picking has became a, a huge piece of technology that we've really been pushing as a company. Uh, Right here, we just have kind of basically your, your simple scare robot, not doing anything too fancy. Uh, it does have a 3D printed robot tooling on it, which is really cool. And then here's actually an example of a machine tending operation with Fanix CNC. Uh, so the uh, robot basically picking up different pieces that need to be machined. Oh, lighting's bad. Then we're basically simulating the machining of that part. Uh, this is basically just simple machine tending. This is like one of the kind of cool things that we do as a company. Uh, and then let's take you to some of these this bigger robot here. So I can see a lot of people actually using utilizing this robot here, uh, the M1000 IA, and the the has a 1000 kg payload, which is about 2,000 pounds. Uh, very big robot, and it really does have a lot of good use cases for like any type of heavy industry. Then uh, we have this R2000 ID, which uh, is going to be very good for your like spot welding applications that they have demonstrated here. Uh, I'm not exactly positive on the, the payload of this particular model, but if you don't know Fanic Robots, the, the smaller digit that's on the, uh, on the robot arm is actually its KG. So the 210FH, so the 210 is the KG of the uh, the robot's uh, payload. So it can lift up to 210 kg or what is that, 420 pounds roughly. All right, so uh, this right here is really the main thing that we have going on here, doing 3D sensing as well. So what it's doing is capturing that 3D sensing and it's also seeing the orientation of the part. So that way, whenever this robot comes in here, do the simulated spray function that is able to follow the, the role of that part. And then for this last one right here, basically we just have this uh, gripper that kind of grabs a little bit of everything. And you can see it's picking up a bun, it's picking up a meat patty, it's picking up a piece of chicken, a block of cheese. So this would be very interesting if any of like fast food people out there are looking to automate your facilities. We'd love to get involved in the conversations of uh, automating the fast food type of facilities. Here we got Tim. I wanted to catch you. Hey, how's it going everybody? 
Yeah, so basically right now we're just doing a kind of a vlog style video. Yeah. Taking people through the, the robotic boots. And, yeah, uh, man, there's a lot to see like, here, so I won't interrupt too long. But man, yeah, it was yeah. great seeing you. It was great to see you as well. You got the catchiest car in the, in the whole uh, conference, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. You have All a good right. one. And you have a good one too. Thank you. All right, so now I'm taking you all over to Dozan Robotics. You may not have heard of these robots. I mean, I ain't said their name right. I've actually never even heard of these guys. But uh, I kind of just wanted to show you guys the robot just because I'm interested in everything that's out on the market. You know, I think they have to evidently collaborative robot here. Um, I'm not really sure what's particularly special about that robot. I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't really like to discuss things that I still have a ton of experience on and knowledge on. Um, so we won't do that. And then one thing that I really completely missed a second ago, so we're gonna jump right back over to Fanic, and now you see where we're at, guys. So we're right here with the Fanic booth. We haven't gone far. There's that DOS stand. There's your scowl. You can see it. Well, you, you maybe you can't see it, but it's way back there. Can you see it now? Hold on. Can we see it now? Your scowl back there. Boom. Okay. And then. Stobble, that Stobble right there, and a Jenna right there, eating a bag of chips right there. And then right there. a Landino right there. Where's he at? Oh my gosh, where are you too close to me? So there he goes, wearing the Factor hat. And we completely missed Phoenix collaborative robot. This one right here is a little bit of the older version. Uh, the CRX is the new version of the collaborative robot. Uh, and as you can see, this is a pretty big robot, and if I'm not mistaken, it's 25 kg uh, of a payload. This one does have one I think the it's a 35 kg payload robot. So if the payload is a major issue, then this one could be the one for you. But the technology in this one is just much better. It's the new one they're pushing. This is kind of like their first generation of, a, of one of these robots. Uh, then we have a bunch of smaller of the uh, Fanic collaborative robots back here. Kind of your standard traditional, showing some different use cases within the welding uh, applications. If you're doing what maybe this would be like re vision inspection, could be the stenting. Uh, and then there's just a break in the robot. Uh, here we have the uh, basically the robot's going to be carrying, gearing. I'm, I'm sure it's probably used that to indicate whether it's in the splines or not. But yeah, very cool. We're going to keep gandering around here. I think there's a few more robot boots we'll be taking you by. Definitely there's Yamaha over there. I think they have some robots. There's Kawa, Nachi, uh, Denzo. There's a ton of robot places. Everybody's out here. So we'll catch you here in a second.